The old lady bought one of them books. 366 pages on oral sex. 365 of them was about eating pussy. 366 was the index. They weren't one word in there about blowjobs. I told on the honeymoon, I said, honey, blow is an expression. You got to suck that motherfucker. <laughs> this bitch is down there. <laughs> My balls are swelling up and shit. Hey, wait a minute. I blow a right nut. I ain't going to be good to anybody. <laughs> and I found out one thing about all sex, and I didn't find this out reading no goddamn book. You do not be going down on a woman when she gets ready to climax. You can get fucking hurt. I'm not talking medicine cabinet hurt. I'm talking intensive care. When she decides your hair is the steering wheel. Your ears are the direction indicators. And she's going to park your face where she wants it to be. Yeah, right there's where it felt good. Oh, now go back and forth again. Go back and forth again. All right, motherfucker, make a big circle. Wait a minute, bitch, you breaking my neck. Thank you. It's true. I got a new way to get laid now. I go home 4 o'clock in the morning, the old lady's sleeping with her mouth open. I drop two aspirins in her mouth. Blink, blink. She'll wake up in a few minutes, spit them out. What the hell was that? I say, two aspirins. She wouldn't give me aspirins for I ain't got no headache. Say, good, wanna fuck? <laughs> and they wonder why we get drunk. I'll tell you the damn truth. Shit. One thing every man hates worse than anything in the world is get caught drunk and driving. Same thing happens every man gets caught drunk and driving. We get pissed off. We don't like no policeman writing us a ticket just because we pulled up on somebody's front porch. We be so damn drunk, we don't know our names, zippers down, done pissed on herself, fire into the cigarettes, missing this in the seat, burn our ass up somewhere. But when the policeman walks up to the car, we get distinguished. Policeman say, can I see your driver's license? Our voice lowers down about nine octaves. What's well, gonna be a problem, officer? Just let me see your driver's license. Okay, very well. Driver's license, you got it, uh-huh. Driver's license. What if I was to inform you, I do not have the goddamn thing. I'd put your ass in jail. They hear some fucking word. <laughs> Finally talking about the ticket, as he's walking away from the car, you always got a friend in the passenger seat, drunk on you are, it's gonna help you out. <laughs> hey, asshole! You can't talk to my fucking friend like that! Especially when he's been drinking, you cocksucker! <laughs> and it's altogether different when the police pull you, you've been smoking that shit. You've been smoking that shit and the police pull you, the attitude is different. You're happy to see the blue lights. <laughs> All right, turn on your yellow one. Choo-boo. He comes up the car, you won't even roll the window down, you leave the heater on, fuck him. You know the speed limit on I-75, boy? Boy? Man, I got a yard full of dick, bucket full of balls, enough hair on my ass to weave an Indian blanket. Who you calling boy? You ever see a boy put a rubber on with a fucking tire tool? The speed limit. Yes, sir, I watch them commercials on TV. It ain't just a good idea. It's a fucking law. Yep. Friends don't let friends get drunk and drive alone. They get drunk and ride with them. <laughs> never catch me going old 55 on the interstate. Never old 55, no three Bob. Never old 55. You were going seven miles an hour. <laughs> well, my girlfriend's giving me a blowjob. I couldn't help it. You know how your foot draws up when you get ready to come? There ain't nobody in the fucking car with you. Damn, didn't know I could reach it. (laughs) I smell something. You ought to, you done scared the shit out of me. Thank you. Please say the dumbest shit in the world to a drunk. 
Everybody stand on the street corner, drunk, 3 o'clock morning, can't find your car, your pants don't know your name. Police always walk up and ask the same dumbass question. The hell you think you're doing standing down here? I always go, well, I hear the world's going around. Every 24 hours, I'm waiting on my fucking house. <laughs> Won't be long now, because there goes my neighbor. <laughs> Please say the only one that say dumb shit. People in general say dumb shit. You ever say to somebody, I lost my wallet? They always go, yeah, where? <laughs> well, it's under the fucking sofa, but I ain't gonna look there, all right? Going to piss, pal? $50,000 recording, you going to piss. We're gonna be quiet and hear you. Don't eat the rock can in the urinal, it ain't worth a shit. Another one, another one dumb, peop, dumb things people say. No one dumb things people say, your dog shits in the house, you always take him by the neck and bring him in and point to it and say, did you do this? <laughs> What's the dog supposed to do? Look up and go, no, man, another dog snuck through the window, shit on the rug, went out the front door. <laughs> did you ask the cat, maybe that filthy little fucker did it? And I seen that little bastard baby crawling around here about noontime. And this is my favorite. You chain your flat tire on the highway, all them people out there playing, What's my lane? You crazy son bitch, you like to run over me. <laughs> Trying to change, oh get back in the car, bitch. I'm fixing the goddamn tire. You bought these cheap son bitches anyway. Recap this motherfucker one time, will you? <laughs> son of a bitch and shit. <laughs> Some jerk always walks up and goes, have a flat? <laughs> no, asshole, I rotate my tires every 2,000 miles no matter where the fuck I'm at. Where, did you wash your fucking hands? Smell his hands if ain't piss on him, pal. <laughs> you, what do they call you, old squirt and split? God damn. What'd you do, piss by the cigarette machine? Holy shit, he was quick. I'll tell you the damn truth. Yeah, uh, what? Where are you from? Boston, Mass. There once was a senator from Mass who went out and searched some ass. He lucked up and found it and fucked up and drowned it and that was into his ass. They just investigated that accident to see how fast he's going. Come out of the paper day, he's going between 85 and 90 miles an hour. Said so take that much speed for the impact to blow her pantyhose off and put them in the fucking glove compartment. <laughs> but anyway, we're not gonna get it. But we were talking about uh, women earlier. How many of y'all uh, like fat women? Yeah. One girl hollered out in the back. <laughs> fucking great. My last girlfriend, no, I see, I found out what uh, women's five most favorite men are. It's the doctor, the dentist, the interior decorator, the milkman, and the banker. Doctor says, take your clothes off. Dentist says, open wide. Interior decorator says, I got it up now, how do you like it? Milkman says, you want the front or the rear? And the banker says, don't pull it out, you lose interest. <laughs> and I found out what men's three most favorite women are. It's a nurse, school teacher, and the airline stewardess. Nurse says, lay back and rest. I'll take care of everything. I like that. God damn. <laughs> school teacher keeps making you do it till you get it right. God damn, I like that too. And the airline stewardess says, put this over your face and breathe normally. <laughs> and I really like that. <laughs> now, you know your girlfriend's too fat when she sits on your face and you can't hear the fucking stereo. My last girlfriend in North Carolina, fat. She was standing on the street corner one day and the police come along and told her to break it up. Big woman. The right side of her ass had a different area code. This was a fat woman. For a Tampax, she used a roll of bounty and a rope. This was a big woman. In summertime, we used to take her to the beach and sell shade. <laughs> big woman. Big I took her to dinner one night. Waiter come up and said, want a menu? I said, no, a fucking estimate. <laughs> big 
woman. She had one of them IUDs with aluminum coil. When she walked down the street, she picked up Radio Free Europe. <laughs> At lunchtime, we used to take her to McDonald's just to watch the fucking sign change. <laughs> Think about them, folks. Think about them. <laughs> big woman! How big was she? I took her to a gynecologist one time. She put her foot in the stirrups. He looked up and said, what a hole, what a hole. She said, you didn't have to say it twice. He said, I didn't. The second was a fucking echo. <laughs> Let me tell you one more time how big this fucking woman was. I took her to the airport, she had on a pair of tight yellow britches. She'd been over, they split, two guys got in and thought it was a yellow cab. <laughs> <laughs>